This time, I'm going to talk about visualizing latent space with Python. What is latent space? Let's take a look at the definition. Latent space refers to an abstract multidimensional space containing feature values that we cannot interpret directly, but which encodes a meaningful internal representation of externally observed events. So we have our input data. All those input data is our externally observed events. And we have our deep learning model. We want to use our deep learning model to extract features and put those features into this latent space. And with all those features in the latent space, we can do classification, regression, or reconstruction. Now, let's take a look at this example. In order to use latent space, we use encoder and decoder. Encoder-decoder is a neural network. There are two neural networks here. These two neural networks usually have the same structure. The first one will be used normally, but the second one will work in reverse. And you can see these our input data. Here it's a gentleman's face. And in the middle is our latent space. And in the latent space, we are going to put the latent attributes, all the features. And then we will have a decoder here. The decoder, the second network, will take this sequence of numbers as input and this time we will output a result. So we are going to use those features to reconstruct this gentleman's face. You can see in the latent attributes we have smile 0.99 so it looks like this gentleman is smiling. And here we have glasses 0 0.002. So that means most likely this gentleman doesn't have a pair of glasses. And of course we have other features. All those features we'll put in our latent space. So in summary, the latent space is simply a representation of compressed data in which similar data points are closer together in space. And latent space is useful for learning data features and for finding simpler representations of data for analysis. Thirdly, we can understand patterns or structural similarity between data points by analyzing data in the latent space. And we can interpolate data in the latent space and use our model's decoder to generate data samples. I'm going to show you with the Python program how can we interpolate data in the latent space. And lastly, we can visualize the latent space using algorithm such as TSNE and RLE, which take our latent space representations and transforms it into 2D or 3D. I have another video in my YouTube channel talking about TSNE in detail. If you haven't watched that video, you are welcome to watch that video as well.
Now, let's take a look what we are using in this video. We are using all those images for our data analysis. You can see we have shoes, we have t-shirt, and also we have some ladies, and we have some men's, and we are going to use them, train our model, and try to build our latent space. There are several steps in this video in order to visualize our latent space. First, I'm going to convert all the images into RGB. Use this program. And then I'm going to resize all the images into 64 times 64 in order to fit the auto encoder with this Python program. And then I'm going to train the model with all those parameters. And then I can plot the model result with the same Python program. I will upload all those Python program into my GitHub and uh, along with my images. So you can download the source code and the images. Of course, you can use your own images as well. And you can run the Python program and uh, test this model and see how it works. Now, let's go to our images, take a look first. You can see I have all the input image files under this folder. And if you check the property, all those images, they are JPEG files and the dimension is 60 times 80. But our model requires 64 times 64 for the dimension. So I'm going to transform all those images into 64 times 64 later. And now let's try to transform all those images. First step, I'm going to transform all those images to RGB files if they are not RGB files already. I'll try to run this program. And you can see it's done. Let's take a look at the result. This is our input folder. So for the output, it's under this folder. You take a look. It transformed all those images into RGB files, but the dimension is still 60 times 80. Now let's run the second program. So this will resize all those image files to 64 times 64. Okay, it's done. Let's take a look at the result. This is the folder after we transform all those images into RGB and then we will go to this folder after we resized them. And you can see all those files here. If you take a look, now it is 64 times 64. Now we are ready to generate our latent space. Let's run the model to generate 
the latent space. Now let's train our model. In order to save time, I put epoch equal to 10. Of course, you can increase this number to improve the result, but it will take longer time. And because I don't have GPU on this machine, so you see those warning messages. But if you have GPU, you won't see it, and it will save you some time, especially when you try to deal with large amount of image files. When you train the model, you see some message like this. You can see because the epoch is set to 10, so it only run 10 times. I have another computer which does have a GPU. I train the model and on that machine I use epoch equal to 500 in order to get better result. And when you use this program, if you specify the mode as a train, it will train your model. If you specify the mode as plot, it will show you the result. Okay, now let's take a look at the result which I trained my model on another computer which has the GPU. Now you can see this is the result. On the left side, I have my latent space plot in 2D image. And on the right side, I can reconstruct my image. Let's take a look at this spot. So you can see this dot in the latent space represent this gentleman. Let's take a look at this one. This dot on the latent space represent another gentleman. If you put the cursor in the middle, then the model will reconstruct an interpolated image of the two gentlemen. You can see it's kind of blurry because it's trying to interpolate all those two images. If we take a look at this one, this is another gentleman. You can see all those gentlemen are located around this area. Let's take a look at this one. This is one shoe. And if we check this one on the latent space, This is another shoe. How about this one? This is another shoe. Again, if you put the cursor in between, it will show you shoe which interpolated between those two shoes. And let's check out this one. This one, you can see it's a lady. How about this one?
Okay, now it's done. This is another lady. So you can see all the gentlemen will clustered around this area. All those shoes will clustered around this area. And all the ladies will be clustered around this area. So now you can see all those original images are clustered on the latent space by their similarity. This is how we can visualize latent space with Python. Again, I will upload my Python source code and images into my GitHub and you can download them and try it by yourself. I'm very sure you will have fun with the model. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.